You know, up until now, we've never done one of these videos. And that's because I've not been that much of a Windows user. But now we have Tanishq. And the very first thing that I tasked him when he came into our office was, listen, find out 11 Windows apps for Windows 11 users. And here we have it, 11 Windows apps that will definitely make your life easier. But don't forget to watch the video till the end because of course that's when you'll get to know which one you want to install or not. Also, don't forget to count the number of times I've said Windows 11 in this video. All right, so we'll make it fun, not just for you, but for me as well. If you're here for the first time, I'm Esha. You're watching Track and Take English, your destination for detailed, incessant gadget reviews. Now, firstly, let's talk about Power Toys. And Power Toys, I think most of you guys would already know about it, but here are three of our favorites. So Power Toys Run is perfect for someone like me because I love Spotlight Search on my MacBook and you can get that for Windows. Essentially, just hit Alt and Spacebar and a Spotlight Search will open up and you can literally search through everything in your Windows system. You can search for files and folders. You can also search for any term that you want through your default web browser. And more importantly, you can also do calculations. The second Power Toys module that we like is Awake. Now, say for example, if you're rendering a video and you want your system to stay awake for two hours, you can just use this tool. But you must be wondering, hey, Windows can do that. I can go into the settings and change it. But it takes a lot of effort. With Power Toys, it becomes easier. All it takes is a single click and you can select the duration from there. You know the thing about Windows sticky notes is, well, it's a lie despite what the name suggests, because they're never actually sticky. Because once you've opened a sticky note, and if you open something else on top of it, that thing goes in the background. So you've got this module called Always on Top. Use it and your problem solved because you can actually get sticky windows. All you need to do is hit Control plus Windows plus T on any active window of yours, and it will actually make it sticky. And nothing else will come on top of it. Literally nothing else. Come on, Microsoft, it's important to make it default behavior now. Now, the second app that we'd like to recommend is called Twinkle Tray. Very funny name for an app, but very useful nonetheless. Now, the problem with attached external monitors is to change the brightness setting with the physical hardware button on the monitor itself is sometimes extremely annoying and frustrating because most monitors have the hardware button hidden somewhere and it's generally very unintuitive. Well, that problem is solved with Twinkle Tray. You get a graphical user interface and you can change the brightness directly from your laptop or your computer itself. Tell me one feature in Windows 10 that is not as good in Windows 11. Let me know your answer in the comment section. And while you're at it, also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it's on the way. And the answer for that is the right click menu. So in Windows 10, if you hit right click, all of the options that you need with the right click function is available for you. But with Windows 11, Microsoft went ahead and decided to make it compact and add more options. But this defeats the purpose of the right click, right? Well, use Nile Soft Shelf to fix that problem. So once you've installed the app, just right click and all your contextual options should be available for you easily. Now, the next app is a solution for a problem that I generally face whenever I'm using Windows. Because with Mac, the file search is absolutely incredible. But File Explorer on Windows is extremely slow. And to solve that problem, Tanishk has found out everything. Yeah, that's the name of the app. And it's pretty useful. Download the app, install it, skip the advertisement, and it will automatically pop up in your taskbar. Click on the app and search for anything. Say, for example, if you want to search for GTA 5, it will show you everything single listing of GTA 5 files in your system directly for you. It's very fast, it's very responsive, and it's definitely faster than File Explorer. The next app you want to recommend is called Quick Look. So Quick Look basically gives you previews of files on your system. Now these previews are something that are not available on Windows by default, which is surprising to me because Mac does have it. And I think that it's it's a standard feature that should be present on any you know laptop PC operating system. Anyway, Quick Look solves that problem. Of course, once you've installed Quick Look, you can select the file, hit spacebar and you can see the preview. Now, while I know that many people might know about Quick Look, but did you know that it also has plugins? For example, you can download a plugin which can let you see a preview of a Word file or an Excel file even if you don't have those apps installed on your system. Up until now, we were recommending tools which I think most Windows users would find useful. But now let's get into some Pro Tools. ShareX is a very powerful screenshot utility for Windows 11. You can even say that it's Windows snipping tool, but on Super Soldier Serum. I like how I can take screenshots of the entire screen, application windows, and different regions, record screens, just by using different hotkeys. See how easily I can take a screenshot of just the current app on which I'm working. You also get screenshot history in case you accidentally delete a screenshot. It's also a powerful screenshot editor. You can do stuff like combine, stitch images together, and heck, 
there is a QR code generated as well. In fact, here's a QR code we generated using this app. Scan it, there's a surprise waiting for you. The next app is Playnight, and this is one of the best tools I've used till date. Now, if you're a gamer, it's such a pain to keep track of all the different online libraries out there. But using Playnight, you can just log into all of these different accounts and it will bunch them all together in one place. Now, with this tool, you can log into all of your accounts and you can also install your games. Of course, you can take a look at your library as well. But what sets this apart is the fact that you've got third-party add-ons as well. You get support for even emulators and VR games from Oculus. The next app we'd like to recommend is Hardware Info. Now, this is a popular tool that has existed for a while, but we still love it. And this is, of course, for the PC nerds out there. You can see literally everything there is to know about your system. You can see your CPU frequencies, boost frequencies, thermal throttling, all of that. And the UI is also pretty good. And there are a ton of extra features as well. If you're building a PC right now, this is a tool that you definitely must install. In fact, a lot of reviewers use this. The next tool that we'd like to recommend does way more than it actually promises. It's called Bulk Crap Uninstaller. And like the name suggests, it uninstalls crap in bulk. So once you've started the app, it identifies all of the apps that are verified by Windows or not and it uh, you know highlights them out for you. It'll show you in color legends, basically red for non-verified apps and blue for verified apps. If you want to, you can just hit the uninstall quietly button and it will uninstall them. And what I meant by the fact that it goes above and beyond is that you can just look at the unverified app and figure out if there is a Trojan or a virus in there. The next app I want to recommend is by a fellow YouTuber, Chris Titus. So he's made this tool called Chris Titus Tech Utility and you guys must install it. But let it be known that it's a very advanced tool and use it mindfully because there is a possibility that it might break your system if you don't use it correctly. So you've got to install it through a PowerShell window, first of all, so keep that in mind. Now, once you've done that, you can install, upgrade and uninstall multiple Windows packages or apps with a single click and that's just the tip of the iceberg. You can also tweak and automate certain settings like create a restore point, disable Windows hibernation and blocking networks for certain applications and even activate certain performance profiles for better performance that might not be present in Windows 11 by default. Again, like I mentioned before, the only problem is that it's complicated to use and it's a CMD based utility. Now for the 11th and final app for Windows 11. If Chris Titus tech utility was daunting for you, then Vinero Tweaker should be better because of course it's got a graphical user interface, most importantly. Here are five of my favorite things that you can do. Firstly, it'll let you disable Windows Defender and updates permanently. You can also reset all group policy options at once. You can disable Copilot permanently in Windows 11. You can disable that annoying blur for the sign-in screen. You can also restore the classic sound volume pop-up slider, full Windows 7 wipes. And of course, a lot more. You can get really deep into it and try it for yourself. And that's it from me, guys. 11 free Windows apps for Windows 11 users. I hope you find this useful because genuinely we want to make more of such videos for you guys. And for that, I need your support for sure. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep tracking and stay safe.